This is a story about the inclusion-exclusion principle, which I call count me in. I suggest if there's anywhere along the story that you feel you need to pause and do some figuring, go ahead. Dr. Snyde is the most popular mathematics teacher at Elmhurst College. Because he gives so many talks around the nation expounding on the beauty of mathematics, he racks up a lot of frequent flyer miles. Each year he rewards all the students who receive an A in his classes with an all expenses paid two week vacation. To save his students trouble planning the trip, Dr. Snyde selects three destinations and allows his students to choose between them. Any student not wishing to go to any of these locations simply must plan their own trip. This year, Dr. Snyde has 100 students who earned A's. The randomly selected destinations are Alaska, the Cayman Islands, and Berwyn. Dr. Snyde polled the students to find out where they would like to go. They could check any trip that they would be willing to take. The results of the survey are as follows. 45 are willing to go to Alaska, 45 are willing to go to the Cayman Islands, and 55 think that Berwyn would be a great trip. The question is, how many students have decided to plan their own trip? You may pause if you want, but you should notice something strange about the numbers because there are 100 students. Clearly, they could vote for more than one. So I forgot to mention that 15 agree to go to Alaska or Berwyn, 25 to Berwyn or the Cayman Islands, and 20 to go to Alaska or Cayman. Now how many plan their own trip? Oh, 10 are willing to go to any of the three destinations. <clears throat> One way to proceed is to draw what we call a Venn diagram, which is made up of a series of circles. So, for instance, let's draw a circle, label it A for... Alaska, another circle B for Berwyn, and another circle C for the Cayman Islands. One way to solve the problem is to start in the middle. There are 10 that agree to go to any of the three locations, so since there are 15 that are willing to go to Alaska or Berwyn, that leaves five in the double intersection that's not part of the triple intersection. Likewise, there are 15 that are in the double intersection that's not in the triple action, intersection between Berwyn and the Cayman Islands, and 10 in the double intersection that's not in the triple intersection between Alaska and Cayman. That leaves 20 who simply would go to Alaska, none of the other locations, 25 who'd simply go to Berwyn, none of the other locations, and 10 who would be willing to go to Cayman but no other place. Adding those numbers up and subtracting from 100, since they add up to 95, that means five would be willing to plan their own trip. This procedure is somewhat tedious. There is actually uh, another way, especially if you have a calculator, it's called the inclusion-exclusion principle, which you can do fairly quickly once you understand it. It goes something like this. Consider the areas that are only used once. Put an X there for now. In the areas that are used twice, but not three times, 
put two x's, and for the triple intersection, put three. If we add Alaska, Cayman, and Berwyn, 45, 45, and 55, that's obviously too much because some areas have been counted two times and some areas have been counted three. So let's remove the double intersection between Alaska and Berwyn. When I say the double intersection, that includes the triple intersection. So you notice I've moved an, removed an X from the double intersection that's not triple and from the triple intersection. Likewise, between Berwyn and the Cayman Islands, we're going to have to remove the, the entire double intersection, which is the double overlap only along with the triple overlap, so we're removing 25. And finally, if we remove the area that's overlapping between Alaska and Cayman, you will see that we've removed a triple intersection three times, so it no longer exists, but everything else is represented once. So what we need to do is add the triple intersection back in. This is precisely what the inclusion-exclusion principle does. You add everything, you subtract the double intersections, then you uh, add back the triple intersection. Therefore, the final answer is still 5, but you can do that without thinking too much. If you have 4, 5, or 6 destinations, which would be very difficult to draw, you simply do the same procedure. Add, subtract, add, subtract, add, subtract.